I left that's all tabbed in I know she needs a lot of tidying up but she's tabbed in and then um, I'd also done the filleting blend around the foam I said I'd like to have done it filleted straight into the glass last night but I think I said you know, it, was getting, it was getting cooler it was getting damper it was getting later darker yesterday I got back and I've epoxied in my little my little wooden surrounds my little reveals on my uh, my locker doors fixed on so it's fixed on with thick and epoxy and a few screws just holding it in place holding it tight against the the battens that it's it's glued onto hey guys welcome to uh, sailing foxy lady this is my full restoration of a 1973 30 foot arista cap Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Hey guys, let's go down to the boat. Found out that my, my black tape doesn't like sticking to new fiberglass very well. Um, as I was approaching, I see one of these black plastic sheets have blown off. And it's sort of, luckily, it sat down the side of the boat there, sort of caught in the, caught in the guard rails. Um, you know, the, Losing it, water ingress, whatever, you know, it's not an issue, but a big black bit of plastic going out to sea is an issue. So I've just come down, I've just I've just taped it to death both sides. Um, but I'll probably look at getting some sort of tarpaulin to put over there. Just so I don't want, want these black things to blow out and sort of end up in the sea. Um, what else have I just done? Yeah, so I just knocked off the, uh, the wooden blocks that I'd hot glued on. So this is all in now nice and solid that's pretty much holding it on to the strap that was over the top and now took off because that is very much glued in the inside here that I showed you last night before I left that's all tabbed in I know she needs a lot of tidying up but she's tabbed in and then um, I'd also done the filleting blend around the foam I said I'd like to have done it filleted straight into the glass last night but I think I said you know, it, was getting, it was getting cooler, it was getting damper, it was getting later, darker. Um, so I've left it to today. So that's, that's gone off nicely now. What I'm going to do, there's a few high bits like here, is I'm going to go and get my sanding paper now. Just sand down with any high bits, prep any high bits of this fillet, 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 split it out, fill it in stuff. Um, and then what I'm going to do, is I'll mix up a fresh batch of fillet and I'll run this down here to make a nice sort of nice chamfer. I might get like a uh, one of my plastic pipes or sort of one and a half inch pipe just to run that along there get that a little bit nicer and I'll also do some filleting on the inside them, them corners that I've put in uh, just the, the internal fillets on there and then by the time I've done that it'll be time to lay some glass on the outside here so I'm just going to go single layer of the thick um, combination matting that I've got, just epoxy that on. I'll go nice and high, so I'll probably go sort of around here and then run down to here. So it's got a nice good bond on there. Uh, yeah, but I've got some sanding to do before I do that, so I'm going to stop chatting. Get my gloves on, get some sanding paper, and uh, get sweating. And I'll, I'll tune in when I make some progress. Cheers. Hey guys, just finished filleting inside. I'm not gonna just film in a minute's music, Tom. I'll do, I'll do that afterwards. But I had to dig out a big ass chunk in the middle here where it's sticking out too far. Uh, so I had to dig out the foam and everything. I sort of laid it all up with um, sticking epoxy or fillet epoxy. Epoxy. That's sort of jellified now. So I'm now going to lay up the CSM. I've gone quite wide. So I've gone 15 mil up. So so 15 centimeters up. So come to about here, and then five centimeters in onto the uh, onto the hole. And I'll do that all the way through. So. 
without chatting much more because I need to get on with it before it gets too hard. Uh, I'm going to mix up some epoxy now and get that laid out. Once it's laid out um, and I've got peel ply and stuff on, I'll tune back in and I'll give you a zoom around of what I've been up to. Cheers. Hey guys, now I've turned the music off. And bring it inside. I've just uh, done a filleting around here. I haven't filled in these bits yet, purely because I'm going to wait until I've decided what I'm going to do down here. Um, show you a bit of camp, better camera angle, I can see my eye. So that better than one inch void. I'm thinking I'm going to use expanding foam down there. So expanding foam, sort of pour it in, let it bubble up, slice it off, dig it out, and then level it off with epoxy. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, if you get any other ideas what's cost effective to fill that void, then uh, let us know in the comments below, it'd be appreciated. Obviously I know the ideal is thick and epoxy, but A, epoxy is bloody expensive, and B, I think that much stuffed in there will get really hot, so I'm going to try and avoid that. So I'm, I was thinking foam, um, yeah, so, some, some people said to me wood, because I put wood in there, that takes that sort of takes away the point of me doing this, I don't want things that are going to pop. So I want you know, foam that's sealed in the epoxy, I'm fine. Sort of expanding closed cell phone. Okay, nothing much to report really. Um, I can't think what I've been doing. But I've epoxied the the boarding like I said I would. So that's good set. Well not set, but so that's when it's set tomorrow. I'm give her a little shave and then start looking at fixing in the, the worktop, um, getting that routed and the frontage routed yeah and apart from a bit of painting and finishing and fettling that's that bit put to bed uh, on the door there's nothing special uh, glass is fitted for my, for my door extensions I've just banged in the beading I haven't even messed around with 45 degrees and doing joins and all that stuff because it's purely just holding it in for waiting for me to pull the door off and fire away. But for now, which is good. Um, and that's it for today, I think. It's only, it's only six o'clock at night. So I've still got a couple of hours of daylight. So I might go home and annoy Sam, annoy her and the fact that I've gone home. Um, and I'll come back tomorrow. I've got meetings and stuff tomorrow, but in in and around and before and after meetings, I'll come and get some progress done. I may spend a bit of time at home tomorrow getting on with the uh, the front fascia to that. Um, cutting, I've, got, I've cut the holes, I've done the epoxy in, so I've just got to cut the wooden surrounds that I want to put on. It's a 12 mil wooden surrounds, do the woodwork in there. Um, just put it on, see how, see how it looks. That's going to be my sort of my trial unit. If I like the way that looks, I can then do it. The rest of these getting the frontages on. But that's going to be my my trial. So I'm not going to take my GoPro home. I'll leave it on the boat, so I won't get no footage of what I'm doing at, at home. I may take a few snaps on my on my, on my phone, um, and I'll tune in next time I come down. Cheers. Hey guys, alright, so I've finished the woodwork. I say finished, I've run out of wood. So for the frontage, I still need to do the framework down the bottom there. But as the frontage isn't getting stuck on today, um, it's not a problem. When I come down, I'll, I'll buy some more strip wood. But the top half is all done, and all the top sections are now ready to receive. So what I'm going to do now is mix up some thickened epoxy splooge it all around um, and then when she's when I've chucked the base on screw it down and I'll come in and I'll clean up put some fillets underneath just tidy it all up and uh, then I'm gonna bug all my phone and what next time I'll come down I'll route out the excess finish off the woodwork get that put on what I really need to do is be getting on with this dodger because it's a, it's a short sharp job uh, my next big thing on the Dodger is going to be grinding out the gel coat uh, on the side of the coach roof.
to tab in the sides. Um, whether that's I'll do that tonight or going on to tomorrow, time will tell. We find out when I tune back in. Uh, I, was, uh, I want to get this, this room put to bed and sealed, but I'm also got a big bloody new coach roof stuck on. I need I need to concentrate on. So a little bit all over the shop, but I'll uh, I'll tune in when I'm back down here, probably later on tonight, and you see what what I've what I've decided to get on with weather dependent and how I'm feeling. Blah 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 blah. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, so it's the morning after. Um, yesterday I got back and I've epoxied in my little my little wooden surrounds, my little reveals on my uh, my locker doors. Um, what I need to do now is just route out some some little bits where there's excess. So I'm just going to route it flush all the way around, and I'll get a bit more thick in epoxy. Do any repairs on the on the ply that needs doing There's some slight little cracks and holes in the ply like you get so i need to seed all that up with um some thickened epoxy then it'll be a final sand down later and then hopefully i'll uh, screw it into the boat but i screw it and epoxy it into the boat and then we'll, we'll go from there but for it, in the garage diy job cost square root of not a lot it's not looking too shabby but i'm gonna get on with the routing uh, and get on with epoxy in, and i'll probably tune back in when i'm when i'm back on the boat uh it's my birthday today so i'm trying to have a slightly relaxed day but it never works out like that but um yeah i'll tune back in later cheers hey guys back at the boat it's a bit, a bit dark and gloomy in here but that's now fixed on so it's fixed on with thick and epoxy and a few screws just holding it in place holding it tight against the, the battens that it's it's glued onto uh so hopefully later get them screws out and uh route out the edge here i've just cleaned up it's getting a bit late now it's nearly, nearly 1800 um so what i've done rather than doing both sides of the dodger i've just cleaned up the the starboard side ground ground off a few high spots I've ground all this down there's a big high spot here which I've ground out. So I'm gonna give a wipe over acetone now, do do my filleting. Um give that half an hour, an hour to, to sort of start start gelling off. Um then do a nice thick tab on it. So I'm gonna get on with that. Um and what I'll do before before I'm done and disappear, if it's not too dark, I'll get a quick video of uh what I've done up there. Cheers. Hey guys, battery's on its last legs, so I'll make this quick. So that's the uh, tab in, fill it in, tab in, and peel ply over. I've got to cover these windows for tonight, and uh, we'll take off tomorrow and see how she looks. I've done a fair bit of grinding back where there's a lot of dry spots and high spots, um, so I took it back, filled them bits with um, fairing compound, wrong, fill it in compound. Um, so it should look pretty good, should. Yeah, so I'll leave it there. Uh, have a good night, guys. I'm gonna go and have a have a drink. It's my birthday, so I'm gonna go and have a drink over at Chichester Yacht Club, my friend. And I'll uh, speak to everyone. Cheers. Morning, guys. I've had a really, really expensive birthday. Um, so yesterday, I treated myself to a an outboard for my little tender. So the tender I've got for doing a fiberglass job on someone else's boat, so I want the tender as payment. So you know, I like doing things cheap or free. Um, so I needed to get uh, an outboard for it. And I found one, 350 quid, little four stroke, uh, 3.5 horse, pretty good enough for the tender work. Um, so I went and picked that up, and that's my little treat. But last night I went and had a pint with a friend over in Chichester. And that one point turned into, well, you may as well sleep on the boat and have a few more. And then the Captain Morgan's come out and I end up going swimming. So at one o'clock in the morning, I fell overboard. Uh, phone in my pocket, car keys in my pocket. Luckily my truck keys work all right, but my phone, not so much. Um, it's fine when I got out of the water, but this morning, gone, absolutely gone. So I just had to fork out 
seven hundred quid on a new Samsung S twenty one thing. Um, so yeah, bloody expensive birthday. But I'm down at the boat now, so I'm just I've just pulled the covers off the other side. This one is set from last night. I've not took the pill pie off yet. I'll do that later. We'll have a look at that. Um, what I'm going to do now is what I've done yesterday. I'm pretty much just get the. Um, fiberglass and sheet there is get the uh, the fillet in blend in there get a nice fillet on there give that a little while to, to gel off and then uh, yeah put a nice bit of combination mat epoxied on there there's a few bits I've had to fair uh, well carried away with the grinder I've got a fair up here the other side I've done the same any little bits that I revealed uh, and then I need to start looking at getting this bloody shape there's some real big, you probably can't catch it on the camera, but there's a, some real big dips in places. Uh, I'm just gonna get a big trowel, mix up a load of fair and compound, blob it on there and just, just do what I can. Is it gonna be perfect? No, but I'll do a good job at making it look as good as I can with my, my skill set that I've got. This side isn't as bad as a few little ripples, but that side is the big dip. But I think once I get that filled in, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the the bulk of it on the bare glass, and then I'm undecided. I might paint the Dodger in sort of gel coat, top coat, just purely to sand down. I think it'd be easier rather than me trying to do it in epoxy primer and then sanding it down. I think it'd be easier for me to put top coat on there, where it's thicker as well, hides a lot more. I can sand that back uh, and then do the epoxy paint on top of that. That's what I'm thinking at the minute. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not there yet. Uh, and I'm away uh, in a few days time. I'm, I'm away for a couple of weeks. So if you want to get back, sort of end of, end of September time. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to try and get as much, much done as I can before I leave. Uh, I'm running a bit low on epoxy. So before I go away, I'll put a big order in. I might go crazy and buy the big uh, 25 litre drum of, of epoxy and just get this get this thing finished off trouble is at the minute the way it's set on here and the way I'm blacking it out it's quite dark in here and it'll, it'll be a real game changer when I get this all finished and I can cut that roof section out put some windows in it'll be a, be a completely different boat but future problems future problems Right, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna get mixing some fillet and blend, get that chucked in. Uh, I'm also, when that fillet and blend is set in, I'll come down with the uh, the router and just route this flat. Because at the minute I've left a little lip on, so I'm getting a nice finish along there. This is all thick and epoxy in here. So I'll get a nice finish along here. I've got the girls with me, they're up in the yacht club or doing something. So I'll get Kate down there, sort of holding the hoover while I'm while I'm routing, stop be going everywhere. So we've got a we've got a do on at the club tonight. So I'll be I'll be sleeping on the boat. So I don't want to be inhaling uh, fiberglass strands everywhere. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll stop waffling. I'll get on with it, and I'll uh, tune in later. Cheers, guys. Oh, just quickly before I go, I'm do I, I I tend to. Whereas my early videos, I try to sort of capture it and speed it up and have music of what I'm doing. I realise now I don't really do that anymore. I tend to sort of skip steps. You know, I'm going to do this. I'll do it, then I'll tune back in. Uh, if you think that works, then any any feedback would be much appreciated. If you prefer that I had the camera going, capturing what I'm doing, I'll do that. Uh, it's not it's no, not a real issue. Um, I just like I'd love to have music over the top or me voiceover or something. Because when I'm working, I have to listen to music. Working in silence absolutely kills me, um, which is a bit of a pain with YouTube -y stuff. But any feedback, um, much, much appreciated. Let's get this channel bloody going. Cheers, guys. Hey, guys. All right, finished sweating my ass off. And that's now tabbed in and peel ply on there. I made a little bit of a, a misjudgment. Right down the end there, if you can see it on camera, there's a lump where the thick and epoxy, the fillet blend, I put it on thinking I'd come back to smooth it over and because it's so hot, it kicked really quickly. Um, so I sort of glassed over it. It's too, it's too 
late to smooth it down. It's too early to sand it. I've glassed over it and I'll, I'll address that when I'm doing the rest of the boat. But apart from that, it's just done. I've put some nice thick fillets on the inside of here. I'll show you. I've done it with a cut wrench pipe. I say it's not, not that thick, but there's thickish fillets there. So this weekend at some point, I'll start attacking this, getting that off on a, on a radius, thickening epoxy, strengthening it all up, glass it up if needs be. Uh, just get that nice and strong. Uh, and then I can start addressing the, the imperfections. And yeah, so it's quite dark in there at the minute, so I'm, I'm in a bit of a rush to get it finished, get it painted and uh, get some windows in. But there are low ones here. Now I've got Kate who's been watching me do a fiberglass in, which is hiding down there somewhere. Can she's been. Nah, no, I can do. And um, you can catch what she's doing. <laughs> she looked away as soon as I pointed the camera at her. Come on, sticks. Right, shall we uh, catch some fish? See if we can get a bass for dinner. Tide's going out, so it could be a bit of a struggle, but we'll have a little mooch around, see if we can pick anything up.